We've never seen a history making jackpot like this before, so big that it's making some play the lotto for the first time ever. I really don't gamble, so I say, hey, $500 million, why not? Now it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it now. <laughs> Here at Treasure Island Party Store in Southfield, lotto hopefuls are handing over their dollars and taking their chances. But how do they choose those numbers? Special dates always seem to get the most attention. Primarily, I'll probably use birthdays. I have three other sisters, so I'll do like a mix between our birthdays or the years, and then my parents, and then do something like that. My son's birthdays, my grandchildren's birthdays, and their ages, I'll just mix them up. But for some, the tradition means mixing it up a bit more and letting the computer choose too. Usually, I pick up like birthday numbers. But you never know, you know? And uh, sometimes I just pick like one or two easy picks with them. Random. A few birth dates and lucky numbers. Marcus Atik works here and says since the jackpot ballooned to half a billion dollars, ticket sales have more than doubled. He sees customers' unique picks all the time. There's like numbers behind me, they look inside the store. Um, there's also like license plates or like apartment numbers. Uh, Pretty much anything that they can think of. And now, as we wait for Friday's big drawing, many of these lotto hopefuls will be back to play again. I play every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. Have you ever had any luck? Not the luck I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of luck that will make them part of history. Good luck, okay? Thank you. In Southfield, a new Prakash 7 Action News.